Hi there. Thank you for joining me and God bless you. I really appreciate you for coming back for more of God's word. And I am praying that this word will be like a seed that is planted that will yield many fruitful blessings in Jesus' mighty name. I'm praying that this is your word from the Holy Spirit, your Rema, in Jesus' mighty name. In God's presence today, the Lord said, yes. And this reminds me of the word of the Lord in the New Testament. The Bible says the Lord is yes, and by faith we receive the amen. The Lord is saying yes to our prayers. The Lord is saying yes to our asking and knocking and searching. The Lord said yes, it is time and we will begin to see the manifestation of his doings. Because the Lord is saying yes. The Lord clearly said broken parts are connected. Broken parts are connected back. Situations that look hopeless and broken and long gone. The Lord is bringing restoration and there is going to be connection. The Lord is bringing life to every long gone situations. The Lord is receiving back to us things that are Julius. This reminds me of the, 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 the vision of the dry bones. The Bible says they were dry bones and practically nothing anybody could do to bring them back alive. But at the command of the word of the Lord and the breath of the Lord, the Bible says these bones connect to one another. And there was breath of God upon these bones. And these bones became mighty army of the household of Israel. The Lord is breathing on anything that is broken or dry. And the Lord is bringing life, breathing life into every broken situation. Every broken part are connected now in the name of Jesus. Again, because the Lord said yes, the Lord is releasing what has been locked up. The Lord is releasing what has been locked up. The glory, the name, the list you've been expecting to make, the documents you've been waiting for, the glory that has been locked up. Yes, the opportunities and chances that we have missed that have been locked up. The Lord says they shall be released. Praise God. For the Bible says by the anointing, yokes shall be broken and what have been locked up shall be released. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible says Lazarus, had been buried and locked in where the corpses are usually locked in but then at the command of the word of the lord jesus lazarus came back alive the lord is releasing what is yours the lord is releasing your joy the opportunities you have been pursuing that particular career that particular job that particular organization yes the move you have been pursuing for a long time that seem as if it's been locked up, it's released unto you right this moment in the name of Jesus. Again, because the Lord said, yes, you are birthing new stories. Yes, God is giving us new stories, new testimonies, new beginnings. For this reminds me of the story of the blind man that was born blind in the scriptures. When the Lord healed this man and restored sight to him, the man gave a new testimony. He said, once upon a time, I used to be blind, but now I can see. The Lord is giving you new stories. In, in areas where you have been waiting, people are waiting for new stories, for things to change, for life to come, for you to laugh and celebrate and rejoice and have that growth and have that expansion and acceleration. The Lord is giving it to you. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for new stories, new beginnings, new celebrations, new joy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are yes and amen. And we key into your word, we believe and receive what is yet to come by faith. May we receive every good thing you have in store for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. I love you. And I am praying for you, newcomers are welcome. God loves you. Peace and love.